Um, and I gotta be honest with you guys. I gotta show you something I did that I'm not super proud of and that Dawn is not going to be impressed by. All right, so I'm coming to check on Tom in the camper. He had, he says he has a surprise for me, so I'm a little nervous. <laughs> yeah, what I know is that he is building the wall right now for the, between the bedroom and the living area, so. I didn't say I had a surprise. What okay. I said was, you're probably gonna wanna come out and look at this before I get too far, because I think you're gonna wanna change it. Well, here we are, um, about four weeks into our second camper renovation. We, when we bought this camper, we knew that it had water damage. So then if you followed along at all, our first camper that we purchased in January of this year, we did not know that it had water damage. We paid full retail for it. Uh, we were very unpleasantly surprised in January or February that we had to remodel the whole thing. But luckily though, we learned a lot with that camper. Mm -hmm. We made it beautiful and we paid less for this one than that one, which is the way to buy something with damage. So where we left off last week, Tom was just about done repairing the front section of water damage in the floor, mm -hmm. and then he was gonna move on to framing up this wall here. So the wall is closed in on the left side, and then we just have one opening into the bedroom area now. Yeah, so what are your thoughts? It looks good like what I thought we were doing. Oh, really? Yeah, why? What's wrong? Oh, I thought you were going to say that it looks very clearly like we just covered up a doorway and that you didn't like it. Oh, well, no, my intention is yeah, to I paint... I thought you were going to be like, well, yeah. Oh, yeah, clearly. <laughs> so my thought is that we're going to paint that center piece and then we'll just paint it all similar. We'll make it yeah. coordinate together, so... Yeah, I figured we were going to do that. Yeah, so I guess I don't... I, I mean, we'll actually probably paint it the wall color is probably me and my thought. That was my thought. So what did you, so how, tell me again, what did you think I wasn't going to like? That just looks like we just put a piece of plywood where a door opening was? Yeah, that was too plain. I mean, in relation to the busyness of this thing. Yeah. And that just being. So, uh. Thought. Great. Okay, and here it comes. We have talked about doing like a little bit of like board and bat in or something like that. Like what we did in Diana's office where it's like those really thin strips that you can like literally just like glue on. Yeah, no, I think looking at it, if we kind of like, and again, I know you don't care about this right now because you're just trying to get it structurally sound, but if we kind of continued the pattern over with some like board and batten strips, I think it would look really nice and, it, and no one would even think anything of it. But again, that's down the road. That doesn't matter right now. We're just trying to get it usable and functional, right? Is that what you're going to tell me? No, <laughs> that's, that's I wasn't going to tell you nothing. Okay. So I want to see it from the other side. Well, so. it's not. I was, I'm in the middle of framing it. It's not done yet! I know it's not done, I just want to see how it feels in here having that closed in. Yeah, I think it'll be... Oh, even just having that thing off around the window yeah, so I know feels you wanted, so good. I know we wanted to keep the curtains... The blinds. What, yeah. yeah, the blinds. When I started taking that off, it's attached to the... Okay. So it came off with it. So I'll, I haven't looked at it yet. I just got, we'll literally just, to, just got it out of my way. Right. So we'll just have to figure we'll out how to, to separate it. We'll have to look and see if we can mount that to the, without the yep. thing around it. Okay. Hey, so I'm out here in the camper and I have the front wall all done here for now. And then now I need to work on cutting out all this floor here and epoxying a new layer of plywood down. But the problem that I'm worried about is when this slide goes back and forth the wall right in here moves in and out a little bit so the way that i found this out is the slide actually kind of does like a little hop so i started digging into it notice that when it's doing that hop what's happening what's what's hopping is the exterior wall on the outside of the camper is doing like a little it's like moving and so when I take this floor out, I'm also going to take that wall out and cut a hole in the wall on the exterior wall and see if what's what's going on there cuz I I don't want to continue fixing this if there's something deeper in that wall. So we're going to get to cutting out and uh, see what I find. And so I was surprised to see that. So I was gone when you and the girls were like doing the whole slide thing and taking mm -hmm. it apart and then you're like there was this screw that was totally not in the wall, right? All right, so I I uncovered the rotten wood, routed it all away. So now this is what I've got. 
I am going to put a piece of foam in here to seal that back up. And then we're going to epoxy another piece of plywood over the top of all this. And hopefully that'll fix everything. But first, I have the girls out here. Hi. Hi. So I'm going to need you guys to run the slide back and forth. Okay. So what we're going to do is you're going to run the slide in. And then I'm going to go over there and look at the wall with the camera. Because that's when it does the little hop. Okay. So run it in. So so it's this so slide. So yep. Slide out one. Feel that. Yep. So you just go. You have to hold it. So now hold it. Okay. Uh, my head is in a cabinet. Uh, you were looking at the ground of the camper. This is probably the most awkward position we've ever been in before. So let me show you what it's doing. Well, it's way too close. Okay, so that bolt, do you see that screw right there? That screw is supposed to go through that beam to the left is the floor, and the beam to the right is the wall. I think that screw from the manufacturer is supposed to go up into the wall beam, and it missed. So what's happening when the slide goes back and forth is the base of this wall here is kind of moving in and out against the camper, as the in the opposite direction that the slide is being pushed so this has probably been happening since it was brand new so I'm gonna get underneath the camper try and find this spot and see if I can back that screw out all right so I'll back up a little further so you can see where we're actually at okay all right so we were down in there uh, here's the slide so it's down in there that screw right there is what's missing and do you think, so now do you think that fixed it or kind of helped I don't, a little? so, so I videoed me running it back and, or the girls running it back and forth and it still hopped. All right, so at next day, I was able to find the screw for the slide underneath that's holding the wall. All right, so I was able to find the screw on the outside underneath the camper where this one that was poking out right here was at. Okay. Oh yeah. And so the floor is all epoxy down too, which is super cool. Cause now the flooring is all done. All right. So we're gonna move it in. Or not. So this is the other problem I've been having. Since, and I just, I just learned this this morning. So since I framed this doorway closed and then I fixed the floor over there, now, this morning, I haven't moved the slide since then. So this morning, I go to move the slide, and this side doesn't want to move. Unless I like go and grab it, and give it like a little convincing to move. Um. See there, it's not going either. It's like, it thinks it's bound up, which I don't understand. There's nothing binding it anywhere. But it's only when you take it in the fully home position. So here's, I'll show you what I have been doing to get it. I don't, and I, I've, the only thing I'm thinking is that because we put this wall inside of here now, that maybe this originally always flexed a little bit, which helped it start, but now it can't flex because I have a wall screwed in place there, so then this is probably more ri this is probably more rigid. Buy a camper, they say. It'll be fun, they say. Um, it actually is fun, but um, we're extremely cheap. Uh, let's not call it cheap. We're extremely frugal and thrifty, and so which is why we buy damaged campers and damaged almost everything, um, because the the thought process is we can fix that which we usually can. Um, I usually end up just having several headaches in the midst of fixing it. And I'm no professional. Like, I'm not a professional by any means with anything. But I do think when we're done with this camper, it's gonna be awesome. I may end up having to consult with somebody on this slide mechanism um, to make sure that we get it right because I would rather it be right than break something. So you kind of just had to be like, it is what it is, and then you got the floor done in the back too, and then decided to switch gears to 
finish getting up the bedroom done because basically the two things we really wanted to get done before we went camping was the floor um and then to fall through which is good and then also we had the whole bedroom area ripped apart right and so you got to work uh, putting together the drawers for that which we probably added a ton of weight with those drawers i'm currently putting together all of the dresser drawer cabinets that we got from ikea for underneath the new bed frame um, and I gotta be honest with you guys. I gotta show you something I did that I'm not super proud of and that Dawn is not going to be impressed by. You know, like, I mean, as a husband, you you still want to impress your wife. You want her to be proud of you. Um, this is something she <laughs> she is not gonna be super proud about. So these are these are what we're what I'm putting together um, and that what are gonna go underneath the new bed, right? Well, let me show you what I did here. So the other day I was out here cutting all of the floor pieces to replace the floor. Um, and I used this space over here as a tabletop. Uh, I, you may see where this is going. I completely forgot that the IKEA stuff was underneath it. And I may have uh, ran my skill saw straight over the top of one of these boxes on the shelves and it went pretty far i mean this is i'm not proud of this i've gone pretty far so we got that one those these are the bottoms to the drawers got the two bottoms to the drawers um oh wow is that all we got okay we got the bottoms two drawers it didn't get through any of the sides we got through the hardware but actually the hardware oh it didn't touch the hinges well that's not so bad then well i mean I say that's not so bad, going through just the bottoms, uh, but Dawn might not. Still, still might not be impressed. I'm glad we moved this wall to get us so much more room. This <laughs> it's so spacious now, isn't it? Oh, it's so spacious. <laughs> I mean, look at this. I could sleep, I mean, if we're a having a fight, I could actually sleep on the floor. Good thing we never fight, huh? <laughs> As Great comfortable point. as that looks. <laughs> oh, hold on. Let me stretch all the way out. There yeah, go. there oh, you yeah. go. That's comfortable. Oh, yeah. Wow, we can put even more people in here. <laughs> yeah. So our friends and I were talking earlier. I had a confession uh, about a mistake that I had made that you did not know about. Okay. Would you like to see what I did and I can explain? Sure. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. See this other one right here? <laughs> oh, two of them even. Okay. So, would you like to hear the story or do you want to watch the video back and see what happened? I can watch it back. Okay. <laughs> so, what did you think of all the drawers? Did, did they all work really good and you like them? <laughs> yeah, even the ones with the cuts in them. Oh, yeah. Is that that cool? was pretty funny. Is that cool? <laughs> Right now, as it sits, the flooring is all completely repaired. Um, the wall is built. Um, some people had asked in the previous video if we had found out where all the water had come in from. No. <laughs> the previous owners told us that they thought it came from the window. They had resealed around it. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that they're right, but I, I'm not taking that as gospel. Well, we do think that the window was leaking based on where the water damage was, but as Tom started up pulling up the flooring, then he found another spot the at the rear, back yep. and also that it went not only like from the window in the bedroom all the way up around the slide. So it looked like both sides of the slide were leaking as well. Yeah, I think that, so this is a seven year old camper. I think that over the years, the slide has leaked on each side of it but I think the major damage was probably from that window. Mm -hmm. um, we did dehumidify all of it, dry it all out with air scrubbers and commercial equipment. So it has been taken care of as far as the mold and wetness. Mm -hmm. We're gonna take this camping as is, like as far as I'm not gonna do any major ceiling on the outside or really digging into it. And then when we get it back home, I am going to address all of the joints on this entire camper and make sure it doesn't leak anywhere. So we feel pretty confident that even if it would get rained on while we're out this weekend, it's that not gonna rain. there's not, yeah, it's just one of those campers you can't take out in the rain. <laughs> um, 
we don't feel like there's any area now that the water would like flood in. Um, I mean, I feel, do you feel, I feel confident about that? I've looked at the forecast and I think we'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> We have a bed. Yeah. Yay. The only thing I wonder about this, when these are screwed down, will this flex? Mm. It shouldn't. Yeah. What do you think? Do you like it? Yeah. <laughs> There's not a ton of room between the drawers and the wall, but I think it's going to be okay. I think they're gonna function. Oh, okay. you mean when the drawers come totally out? Yeah, like if you're no, trying you're to get right. into those you're drawers. You're right. You're definitely not walking around it with the drawer out. No. no. Oh no. Yeah, but I still think it's gonna function better than what was in there for storage before. So what our plan over here is, um, we we put the cold air return into the floor. What's gonna be here is it'll be uh, like a step mm -hmm. halfway up here, and then it'll be open underneath where we can kick shoes. And then this will get capped. Because I know some people were worried about that who's ever sleeping on the inside would have to like crawl over the person on the outside, but I think there should be enough room that I can demonstrate it. <laughs> so here, Gage, can you go get up in the bed next to daddy? So pretend like you're crawling up the steps. There you go. <laughs> Don't wake up daddy. Can somebody just crawl in bed with me? <laughs> there we go, just like that, right? So hopefully it'll work out. <laughs> the other thing we had hoped to get done before we went for our first trip was to actually have flooring, like put the vinyl plank down. We did decide to go with the lightest one, the hick hickory. Yep. Um, so it seemed like you all agreed with that decision too. So Tom had wanted to get that done too, which is this not gonna happen so but that's okay right are you still thinking you're gonna try and squeeze it in and get it done hey when you fall asleep tonight <laughs> i don't know well, i can't i can't tell you what i may or may not go do if we have flooring we have flooring but if not it'll be fine so we're just taking our like torn apart like <laughs> under under construction camper camping but it's fine <laughs> yeah it's fine so then the mattress will be what did you say don it's a 10 inch mattress yeah yeah, so it'll be an inch below the bottom of the windowsill. So that'll be nice. So it, it's, I mean, kind of tall, but not... Like, yeah, because right now my feet are flat on the ground with the yeah. here. So... I don't know if our, wherever we go camping, we'll have as, as scenic of a view as a John Deere tractor out the window, though. I mean, how many places <laughs> do you look out one side and see a John Deere tractor, and the other side and see a project truck? <laughs> wow. <laughs> what a great spot here. You couldn't get a better view. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we'll try. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> and then you got the frame built for the bed. And so uh, we did, we ordered the cheapest, thinnest mattress we could well, find. Here's, so I have a really <laughs> tough time sleeping on really, really junky mattresses. And my back hurts a lot. So of course we ordered the cheapest foam mattress we could get. So we were trying to keep it not like super thick. Um, so that again, so it wouldn't add a lot of weight, but still wanted it to be fairly comfortable. Um, mm. It gets good reviews, but who knows for a $300 mattress what you can actually expect. So. Oh, well, it's tearing up, it's tearing up. Oh, no. Get it in the right position. It's getting bigger. <laughs> There's no room to turn a mattress oh, in this space. <laughs> Uh, I hope it gets a lot wider because that's a lot narrower than my. Do they get wider? I don't know. I don't know. It's like that's that's probably the size of the king bag bed that was in here. Huh. All right. Well, let's hope it gets wider. We really like our Helix mattress, but they don't come. We wanted one that was shorter, and they don't come this short. So thinner, not shorter. Yeah, I wanted it not so tall. Right. We're trying not to, I mean, so we want it to be comfortable for camping, but it doesn't have to be like the greatest thing, but we no, want Tom I to be just, able to walk I would like to be able up. to sleep really well yeah. and not, and like be able to move my neck. That would be preferable. That's so much to ask. Yeah. That's all I want. So, uh, we rolled it out in place and let it do its thing inflating and, um, we'll, well, we'll just have to wait and see how it is to sleep on.
I made my uh, queen bed frame the right size, though. Yeah, it looks good. And look, your feet don't hang off the end. No. Yay. <laughs> your sock has a hole in it. It does. And it's like the worst <laughs> spot for a hole, too. <laughs> the other thing I didn't tell you yet is, so Dawn wanted me to move the camper up to the front of the shed so we could get some natural light in here. See this? That natural light. Um, the slide works fine now. Well, so I had all the four stabilizer jacks down. Okay. And it was kind of crooked, which I don't think that actually has anything to do with it. But I know that I raised all those stabilizer jacks and ran the slide in and she was perfect. Didn't oh. didn't hang up at all, nothing, just okay. straight in. It still kind of slowed down towards the end like it has been doing. Um, but I ran it back and forth twice like that because I was like, Right, is just a What food. is your problem, yeah. slide? Yeah. Like, oh, that's funny. But it was fine. Hey, so well, that's good though. That makes me feel way better because we were <laughs> yeah, kind of just it like. Yeah, that's a mind of its own. Well, we're just gonna go, and if Tom has to stand outside and push on the slide, why? In the, the rain. Button, in the rain. Yeah. <laughs> right. It is what it is. Cause she'll be in the vehicle. She yeah, <laughs> I'll be in here. Oh, you'll be holding the button right. for me. Yeah. No, but I think we're kind of the point where it's like, we just have to get out of here because. <laughs> Like, everyone's a little crabby right, right. now. And you can only camp in a, in a shed for so long. <laughs> yeah, before it loses appeal. So, <laughs> yeah. No, I think everybody needs to uh, get in nature and then also... <laughs> become one with become nature. Become one with nature and then uh, see their cousins and just run around right. for two days and, and wear off their energy. Right. And the other thing is the excursion hasn't broken down in a while. So, <laughs> let's take it on a big trip. <laughs> on a holiday yeah. weekend. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So there's still a lot of projects to do. We didn't get it all done like we wanted to before we go camping. So flooring is going to totally be on hold, but... Oh, um, I got to replace the tires too, remember? Uh, the ones on here are all dry rotted. Yeah, they're the original tires, yeah, so... Yeah, yep. So we got to do tires. Uh, we don't have... You're saying no flooring? Flooring is not done? I don't think we can do flooring. We haven't ever put water to it, so we still wanted to oh, test man. the water. I got to hook and water make up sure to this thing. I got to fill the LP tanks. We got to check for the CO2 detector. That's not working. I have a new one to replace in that. And I need to pack it. We have oh, nothing man. in here. For Catch you later. Bye-bye. Right oh, Tom. What? You just couldn't resist. I thought you'd be like, oh, he's putting flooring in. <laughs> uh, if the rest of the the camper uh, were ready to go then then I would be excited <laughs> you do you remember how long this takes to put in obviously not <laughs> how long did it take to put in the other camper a couple days no and that was a smaller camper no it did not okay I got well. like eight pieces done <laughs> It doesn't even look good right now because the rest of the camper is such no, a right. disaster. No, you're right. And it absolutely does not go with like the golden oak <laughs> coloring. And <laughs> so, well, this means well, I should probably get painted and get it well, all painted before we go. Well, what <laughs> I was kidding. thinking is, why don't you bring the paint with and we'll send the kids <laughs> out to play and we'll paint the camper while we're camping? That I might get on board with. So <laughs> we'll see.